Silent protest as it is against all forms of sexual violence and rape, you see, all forms of sexual violence. And yeah, that's help also because this, there is a, an important thing to this and HIV transmission as well as sexual identity. All these need a stronger institution, a stronger implementation. We are aware that our policies are policy that criminalize sexual violence. Where the issue is, there's so much silence, there's too much silence. You know, even the victim, they get blamed and shamed for a uh, sexual violence experience. So we want a stronger institution, a stronger implementation of policies to end the issue of sexual violence. Yeah, for me, it has at least risen awareness in the community, to people in Abuja. And at the end of it, of course, we've come to the right place, I guess, where the implementation of the law should be as AHF, we intend for this to be annually, at least, silent protest, so that we can continue to bring this kind of issues to the fore, especially knowing fully well that such issues will die off if nothing is done about it. For example, we are supposed to have like someone receive us in this ministry, but that is not happening. It goes a long way to say how silent a lot of people are and want to be And we are saying no. We don't want to continue having such silence. We don't want to speak up and break the silence.